Welcome to another training session with Computer Tutoring. This time we'll just show you how to import a Word document into InDesign, but not only that, we'll also show how to use master pages to automatically lay out the document. So first things first, let's create a document in InDesign, File, New, Document. Uh, it's not going to be facing pages. I want a couple of columns in this document. That's great, so I've just got a one-page document. It's A4 size, whatever size suits you really. Um, but being in the UK, I'm using the A4 size. Choose your margins, no point with the bleed at all. I can see I've got preview checked, so if I click on OK, I've got this document ready to go. So what I'm interested in next is with the uh, pages. So if I just zoom in and just go to the top left here, we can see the pages window. Here I can see my master pages and the pages that are in my document. I'm going to double click on A master, and then that allows me to work on the A master page there. If I just zoom back down here, there we go, the A master. So let's lay out this A master, A master page. I'm going to take a rectangular frame tool. because I want to put one image here, and I want to put one image, image down at the bottom there. I'll then choose my T tool to draw a couple of text boxes. So one on the left-hand side, and one on the right-hand side there. That's great, excellent. And last but not least, I'm just going to link these two text boxes there. So to link the text boxes, what I can do is I can click on this icon here, or this little blue square. It's not the small one at the bottom, which resizes the, re um, the text box. It's this one here. If I give that a click, notice my mouse pointer turns into this little right angle with a bit of text. And then I click in the text box that I want to link to. If I scroll up, you can see this little triangle here. If I click on this, you see this little triangle here. That denotes that this... Those two text boxes are linked. So far, so good. So what I want you to do is use the Pages panel, double click on page one, and you see we're on page one here. Notice that the placeholders have little dotted lines around them. So this indicates that these are on the master. So if I click, doesn't matter how many times I click with the mouse, I cannot select any object on the page. So what I need to do is release them from the master because I want to change certain aspects of these objects on this particular page. So the way you do that is hold down the control and the shift key on the keyboard. So I'll say that again, it's holding down control and shift. So you'll need to do that. So if you're right-handed, maybe, maybe do that with your left hand. Then with your right hand, click on one of the text boxes, which then releases it from the master. I'm then going to double click on the text box. You see my cursor flashing away in the text box there. And let's go and place some text. I'm going to go to file and place. This is the file I prepared earlier. You can download it from the computertutoring.co.uk website, the Lorem Ipsen text file. I'm just going to click on open. There we go. So it's imported the text all the way down here. I put a page break in Word here, which is why it skips over to the next page here. And then if I sort of scroll down here a little bit on page three, there's another page break I've put here in the Word document. So it takes into account page breaks as well. Other videos I'll show you how to import incorporating the headings that you might use in Word. But uh, that's it for the importing text. For more videos, then see either our YouTube channel or visit www.computertutoring.co.uk.